In this tutorial, I'll be showing my process on how I came up with a company logo for a class project of mine. It'll really be just a brief overview of how I get ideas and a little bit of sketching. Um, whenever I start the design process, um, I really just like to get ideas first. Just looking up different types of companies and seeing what type of logos that I can draw inspiration from. Now I in particular am, for my imaginary company, it's gonna be a residential one. So I searched up residential company logo just to see what type of logos there are and see if there's anything that I wanna draw inspiration from. Now I do like having a house within the design and probably simplistic text too, easy to read. And I also looked up construction logos just to see what they have too. And I in particular like these 3D geometry shapes. So I kind of want to incorporate something like that too. Simple colors, maybe three. So now I feel like I have enough ideas to start actually sketching. So let's see. Really, you can use a pen and paper, but for the video, I'm just using a tablet. And they're just really rough thumbnail sketches, just to see what they would look like. And I'm adding the company name to it too, just to see what it would look like with it. Not digging that one. <laughs> Maybe a tiny. See, I don't want my thing to be flat like that. I want it to be 3D, so. I have an idea of a shape, but I just want to try to get the text in there too. Maybe see if these gables, mm, don't like gables. <sighs> Sketching takes a lot of time, but I think I've got something I like. A little roof. and maybe even putting it in the house might work too. Then kind of just editing around. And I think I want something along the lines of this. I'm gonna add a little bit of color. Whoops. I think my darkest color will be the roof. Maybe even make the text the same color as the roof. And then slightly darker side right here for a 3D look. So now my final step of the design process once I get something that I like would be to make a final version. Kind of like rendering is the closest word I can think of. But I'm just gonna stop the video real quick and then come back when I finish with my final version. Okay, so now I'm back. And as you can see, I finished with my final version. And 
it's pretty close to the original. I short made the roof more squished and add more emphasis to Huber Homes and a little bit more 3D perspective. But overall, that's really how the design process goes. You get some ideas, you do a lot of sketches, probably a little more than what I did, and then you just work on the finished version and see if you like it or not. And that's really it.